goodbye to the other one The captain said you could be on good one Mike's music method, Doc Watson's Sitting on Top of the World. This song goes out to Casper, I love you, and I hate you for having me do this song, because it's another one of these songs that I spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to tab out as accurately as I could. Here is just the intro. It's a long song, and there's lots of great guitar playing, but this is just the intro part before he starts singing. I say just, but I promise this is going to be plenty to work on. This is not a beginning Travis Picking song. Check out my playlist right here, right here, one of these two spots. Um, and, and go through the easier songs. Uh, this is a really difficult one, as all Doc Watson songs tend to be. And it kind of drove me nuts, Casper, because it's not only an open tuning, but he also has the capo on the second fret. For this recording, for us playing it here, I don't do the capo on the second fret. Because when I say the 8th fret, 7th fret, it's just confusing to have the capo on because he's playing up high. So don't, don't use the capo, but we're going to do open D tuning. And it's awesome. This is, it's hard. Again, it's hard. It's going to be hard. But you, if you go slow, you can do it. And even if it's, I'll say even if you're a beginner, you know, maybe try the first two bars just to like push yourself. Give yourself something out of your comfort zone to work on. But this is a great one. It is so much fun to play. It's been a joy working on it. And, uh, you know, it's probably driving all my family nuts because I've been putting so much time into it the last three weeks. Um, 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 I'm saying um too much. Let's play the frickin' song. We're going to take this very slow. We have the pickup beat. And our beats here just think we have one, two, and four, and. So that's what we're playing. And, four, and. And we'll talk more about how to start the song later on, but that's what we're aiming for here. So I've got open on the first string, I'm using my middle finger. Then my thumb is playing the third string open, and then I'm bending the eighth fret, I'm using my index finger. Eighth fret of the second string. So there's already a lot of issues even in this first measure, like um, for example, when you bend, I'm actually deadening the third string because I'm bumping into it with that middle finger. And I'm also stopping the first finger from ringing out too. I guess you could keep it ringing, but there's really no point. So that's what we're aiming for. First string, third string with my thumb, and then the second string with my index finger. Middle, thumb, index, and bending that eighth fret. And then get used to hitting the sixth string open with your thumb. That's the next measure. Really tricky. Sounds weird. Let's add a little bit more so you can kind of hear it in context. But even go slow on that part. It's already hard. Measure two is fairly straightforward. So we came out of that bend. Now, if you, I didn't tell you, but I was bending with my middle finger, right, if you saw that. Because then we need our first finger on the seventh fret. And the measure is pretty easy alone. We got thumb on the sixth. Then we're pinching four and one. All right, so we got that seventh fret with the first finger. So six, pinch four and one. Then pinch six and one. So thumbs back to six. And then the thumbs alone. So thumb, pinch, pinch, thumb. Six, four, one, six, one, four. It's nice and happy. So with that first measure, remember you come in on the end of three. One, two, three, and four, and one. Pinch, pinch. One more time. One, two, 
three and four and the third measure here is a lot of fun it sounds like this so let's break it down we have thumb on five then the index finger immediately on three then the thumb on four and then the middle finger on two so the strings are five, three, four, two. And we just have thumb, index, thumb, middle. Now I suppose you could do thumb, index, thumb, index. Again, it kind of depends how much you like using your middle finger. And then we hit the thumb on the sixth string. And then after we hit that sixth string, sixth string thumb, my, my son all week has been making me read that. Usually Dr. Seuss is pretty good, but that Fox and Socks book is incredibly annoying. Even my wife hates it in my defense, but I also, also I see, look at, I'm so nervous that I'm even thinking about the book that I have a lisp and it drives me crazy. I hate that book, but I like Dr. Seuss. He actually, his regular artwork's actually amazing too. I saw his, there's like a little museum or studio of his in uh, La Jolla, California. And he, that guy does some crazy good artwork. Anyway, so then I'm I'm slide. Whoops, sorry. I'm sliding from ten to twelve on the first string. You can also slide from nine to twelve, right? It's kind of impossible to tell on the recording. It's happening so quick. Either ten to twelve or nine to twelve, and then right after you slide, you're hitting the fourth string. So that whole thing. that so five three four two six slide four now I know on the tab if you're looking at the tab the slide happens at the same time as the thumb but now that I'm looking at it I'll probably correct it never mind that slides super quick and the thumb happens right afterwards On the same beat. Cool, let's put it all together actually. So it comes in on the end of three. One, two, three, and. So measure three, we slid into that 12 with your ring finger. I didn't tell you that, but you probably should have did it that way. And then I'm gonna take that ring finger and drop it quickly to nine and I'm pinching six and one here and then right away i'm playing the first string again but i'm playing the seventh fret so i should play the whole measure so that was the next two measures so that's that fourth measure there so i'm pinching six and one and that's the ninth fret so we slid from that 12 then you quickly move here pinch and then the first string right again to seven thumbs alone on four. Now you can do middle, middle, or you can do middle index. Depends on what you want to do here. And then we're gonna, after we do that, thumbs on the fourth, and we hit the second string and we bend it. So, then the sixth string open. Pinch first, four, two, six. And then right after that, I hit the first string seven again. So it's a lot of back and forth between the seventh fret on the first string and the bend. So three, four, pinch and thumb, bend, open seven. Then you, <laughs> then you pinch four and two, and you bend that. Now this is what's tricky. He's just only doing a little bit of a bend. For some reason in open D on this guitar, like I have the tendency to accidentally over bend, right? You hear that? get that horrible buzz, because then I'm contacting that fourth string. So you just do a little bend, get a little bit of that blue note in there. So pinch, six, and one. Play one again. Thumbs on four, bend the eight, six, to the first string, four, sorry, and then bend the second afterwards. And 
so you do the bend, but then before you hit the eight again, you gotta pull it back down because you're bending it up again. Measure five obviously comes after measure four, but it's hard to teach them separate because it's the same thing keeps happening. But what's difficult is the way, uh, you'll see what I'm saying, like the way they're on beats and off beats can be really confusing. So what I did was honestly, like when I look at the tab, it confuses me. I just listened to that part over and over again until I kind of like, until I, you know, just got the feel. So let's try that. Um, we're gonna do measure five here. So now I'm pinching at the top six and one, and then I'm bending the second string, right? So pinch six and one with my middle, and then I'm playing the index finger there on the second string. Then it's four and back to the first string. Then you're pinching six and two here for the second half of the measure. And then there's a little bit of a break because then you pinch three or uh, four and seven. And then you, s you move your ring finger to 10 and slide down to nine. I know that's a lot of information. So pinch here. Let's just do the first half of the measure, right? We're pinching six and one. Bend the second, fourth string thumb, and then the first again. second half of the measure is six and two and then four and one so on the recording I'm actually hearing him hit three and one there that's what I have in the tab I think it's an unnecessary detail granted I wrote it out because I try to be as accurate as my ear allows me to be I don't know if it's an accident or it's intentional if you want to just go six and four honestly when I play it that's all I'm doing if you want to be real tricky and make it harder for not much benefit then hit the third string there with that with that seven at the end of the beat there. And then I'm, I'm reaching my ring finger to play 10 and it's gonna slide down to nine. And we'll end like that because we're into the next measure where you, when you get to nine, you hit the open. So one more time real slow on that measure. Three, four, Let's put it together now with that previous measure. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna start at measure four and we'll put it all together. Two, three, four. One more time, three. Make sure when you practice this, you're doing measure by measure, then maybe you're putting measure two and th one and two together for a while, then you're putting two and three together for a while, then you're trying one, two, and three together. So approach it at like slow speeds, one thing at a time. Then every once in a while, pick maybe two measures that you're trying to get fast, right? You, this is a really complicated song, and sometimes you need to go slow to get your fingers to cooperate. But then when you go too slow, it can become really difficult to actually hear the song. So you're like, ah, is that even right? Like I'm not hearing the rhythm. So then you got to speed it up to hear it, but then your, your hands start stumbling over each other. So it's a constant dance of, of speeding up, slowing down and, and doing that. But I know you're, you're going to do fine. Let's play the whole thing through right now and keep working on it. From the beginning through to measure five, two, sorry, we pick up on three, one, two, three, and... get it quick and you will get there I promise it took me a long time but I know you can do it but let's keep going forward measure six is also goofy rhythmically but we're gonna get it down so remember we slid 
from 10 to 9 and that to end to transition from me into measure 6. All right, so we played 10 in the last measure and then when we slide, we're also hitting the 6th string. Right, a compound kind of thing, two things at once. So right on the slide, you're hitting the 6th string. And then immediately to the 7th fret on the 1st string again. So sorry. And then the 4th string. the open, then seven, then open on the fourth. Get that down, and then right after that, we play eight on the second string, and then we slide it down just one fret to seven, but when we slide into seven, we hit the sixth string open at the same time. Really cool, so, oh sorry. Then I'm barring five, and I'm playing four and two. This is weird, it's the fourth beat, but we're going into a new chord. So it kind of hurts your brain rhythmically, because you almost want to hear that on beat one of the next measure, but he gives it to you a little bit early, this anticipation, which happens all the time when you're just strumming chords, but when you're doing this crazy finger picking pattern, it sneaks up on you and it's very difficult. So let's do that a few times nice and slow to get it in our heads. I would add the next beat just so you start hearing the change. So let, let's actually go into measure seven here for one moment. So we're doing, um, I'm barring all the fifth fret and I am playing six and two. Then immediately I'm doing the third string. So I'm doing six and two. You should actually use your middle thumb and middle. And then I'm playing the third string with my index finger and then my thumb there. So that's an easy one, right? Pinch six and two. coming out of measure, sorry, it's the top of measure seven. Can't count. So let's do all of that together here. That's kind of how I would practice that, just so you're kind of hearing it a little, little bit better. Go nice and slow. Keep at it. I know it's hard, but you can do it. Watch me do it a whole bunch of times. Slow it down. Look at the tab. A lot of back and forth. Measure seven. I think this is the hardest measure of the song. I haven't recorded my intro yet, but I'm sure I'll mess up this measure. And if I don't, the timing will be a little wonky. I'm not confident that even if I practice for another week, I'm going to be there yet. Um, and I'll explain why it's so difficult. So I showed you the beginning. Have that right pinch six two third string fourth string and now we have this very difficult to run so we just do it gonna do this right so the whole thing is just five 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 right six string fourth but this run here at the end of the measure is seven five eight five And to get that quick with the right hand thumb going is not so easy. Let's break it down. So measure seven, you have that, the pinch, six and two, three, four, and then immediately we're playing the first string, but I'm putting my ring finger down on the seventh fret of that string. I'm using my middle finger to play it. And this is where it gets hard. So back to six, easy enough. But then immediately you're playing five. Now I'm gonna do the middle finger on seven and then on five, and then I'll show you what I do next, so. So I lifted that seven, so it's five, right? Lifted the ring finger. Then we're gonna have to pinch um, four and two, but my pinky goes down on the eighth fret of the second string. So I'm pinching that, and then I lift it and play the second string again. Sorry, I'm trying to think of the fingers that I use. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm using uh, thumb and index, and then I'm using middle, because that has to be very quick. So I'm pinching four and two, and then with thumb and index, and then I lift that pinky and play my middle finger. of different ways to do it but I would really I don't know I'm, I'm confused myself because I can't play it great but that's how I'm doing it I'm doing middle middle index middle and that's the way I'm able to get it the quickest in context if that's too quick you can always cheat and do pull-offs it's not gonna sound quite as loud You could even pull off both. I guess pulling off the second one's the easiest because you have a little more time between the first two. You can pull that one off if it's too hard to get them quick. And then we have even more runs as we pick up into the next measure. So let's talk about measure eight. Um, we go right back to six and one, but now we have the seventh fret again right to five so it's pinch and then the same string and again I'm alternating either middle index or index middle but I think I'm doing middle index and then we pinch four and two and that's the eighth fret is down on two and you bend it I know that's hard to do when you're barring but that's what he's doing and then we finally get a break you just lift everything open six and one is open there's a third string, thumb on the fourth, and then the second. Six, one, three, four, two. And if I play both those measures together, three, four. giving it to you in context so here it is from the beginning again one two three If you need to slow even that down to 0.75 speed, you can do that. No shame. Eight, nine, and 10 are a ton of fun. So let's, let's play through all these. I think you can see me here. Uh, we talked about the end of eight, which was pinching six and one, and then three, four, two, uh, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle. But when you play that middle, we're gonna hammer onto the second fret of the, that's, sorry, I don't even know if I'm in frame here. Am I in frame? Yeah, I am, hardly. So I'm hammering onto this second fret, um, but when I hammer, I'm hitting that sixth string open to make that work, that compound movement again. So then I'm immediately hitting the first string again. Then the fourth string after that. So um, every time here I'm going from the second half of measure eight to into nine. And this is really cool. So after you hit that fourth string, I hit the second string, second fret, and I'm sliding all the way up to five. But once I get to that five, I'm hitting the sixth string open. So again, from the end of eight, three, four, Then we hit third string open, fourth string, and then second string, and that's the end of measure nine. So the ending after that slide, you gotta lift that finger up so you're not you're not playing five again. That starts at the same time. So again from the end of eight, three, four. Sorry, three. 
three, four. And then we'll go right into 10, because it's a very similar idea. We played that open, and we do that same idea, hammer on to two, we'll play open at the same time. Then first string, then fourth. there but let's do it again three four then we are gonna play after at the end of that we're sliding five to seven when we get to seven we hit the open and then I'm hitting four and two and the two is that eight that we had at the intro again It's hard, I, you, again, even I have like, have this at a set tempo now, and when I slow it down, uh, I don't know what happens. Or especially when I'm trying to pick it up from the middle of the song. So whenever I teach you guys, I'm always becoming a better player, which is good. Maybe, maybe that's selfish of me. Not really, at all. But you know what I'm saying. I'm becoming better through teaching you guys, which means you should start your own YouTube channel and start teaching people songs that you're figuring out. It's fun, you'll learn from it. All right, the end of eight going into nine and 10, three, four. So the ending slows down the tempo a bit because you finally get like a, you know, in between notes on the beat. Three, four, one more time. That's the kind of speed I have it at, and it's hard to not play it that way, but a little bit slower. Three, four. Kind of did the slide a little late. Get it. Go slow and do it. Sitting on top of the world. All right, getting there, getting closer to the end of this intro. And this is this is a little bit different at the top here. Well, let me play it for you. We've got six, and then he's kind of he's not really going high here. He's doing six, and then he's hitting like a chord. He's hitting five and. Probably four and three, at least four though. And then he's doing an upstrum with his index, so it's like one, two, and. I just wrote down the third string in the tab, but he's probably a little kind of heavier handed. And then it's six again. Sit, or thumb, thumb, index, thumb, one, two, and three. And then we're pinching. Four and one, and it's the seventh fret on the first string. And then immediately after the, the pinching four and one, we're playing the tenth fret. There's a pinch on the seventh with four and one. Immediately ten with your ring finger, because we're doing that same trick. After you play the ten, you're sliding into the nine while hitting the sixth string. And then immediately the seven. So let's just keep rolling here. We have that other part. Four and one. All right, so we got that so far, and then we're pinching four and two, and we got the bend, that bend again, right? Eighth fret bend. So let's do all that. One more time. Then we get to lift our hands. We're playing six and one open. And then three on the end beat with my index finger. And here we have this compound movement again too. I'm hammering my first fret onto the first fret. I'm hammering my first finger onto the first fret of the third string. And then my second finger onto the second fret of the fourth string. So that's my little chord. Right, third string, fourth string. 
So I'm playing. And it's compound when I'm doing the hammer there and my thumbs at the same time. So only playing the third string, hammering both down, and then the moment I hammer, immediately playing the thumb on the fourth string. So I'm getting the hammer of this, but I'm also adding this at the same time. And then immediately you're playing the second string open. So we have... So back to 9, 10, let's start from 11, 3, 4, slow and then we'll go straight into 13 here uh, st still the same chord so we have that and then I'm doing fifth string here then you can just be heavy-handed with your thumb I'm playing the fourth and third string Then I'm doing six three four thumb uh, or P I P right thumb index thumb six three so that whole measure 13. Pretty easy. Thumb, 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 index, thumb, middle. And then let's go right into 14. I'm hammering. So I ended measure 13 with the open. I hammer down on two. And I also have the compound movement of playing my thumb again. And the thumb plays the the third string there, I guess. That's what I wrote down. Let's see if that's right. Yep. And then this part's fun. Sometimes I'm doing abrupt cuts. When my videos go too long, my computer can't handle the processing speed and everything starts to get slow and glitchy. All right, but we, we did that um, first half of measure 14, right? We come off of 13 with that hammer on. Sorry. And that's the third string with your thumb out of nowhere. Again, you don't really have to do that. You can just hit the fourth again. Uh, those random third string notes. I'm hearing them in there, but they don't have to be exact. Uh, and then after that, we have this. We're pinching six and one. And I'm bending the third fret. And then I'm playing four and one open. Six and one with the bend, four and one open. And he does it again. And again, but he goes to the third string with the first, and he still bends the third fret. So three open, three, three. And your thumb is four, or sorry, six, four, six, three, six, four, six, three. You got the bend, open, bend, bend. And then it ends open and open with the second string immediately. And you go back to that chord we did before. Four, three, thumb, index. So from the bend part, Six and one, second string with the index. And then so an easy pattern, but you're changing chords like halfway through the pattern. Really cool. So let's go back to um, 13. Two, three, four. I played one a three instead of the four in there, but you get the idea. We're all making mistakes and learning together. Yeah, so close. Measure 16. Uh, we're still holding down that chord we were a second ago, right? And then we start measure um, 16 here. That's the beginning. Six, open on two. And then we hammer it on two. But at the same time, 
to a compound movement again. Open to two on the second string, but right when I hammer, I'm hitting the fourth string. So six to hammer. Kind of weird, right? And then here, it's all open from here on out. We've got so one or six and one. Seventeen is six, three, pinch, four and one, and then pinch six and one, and then four, three. <laughs> so it's a very weird pattern. Uh, let's go from seventeen, six, three, pinch, pinch, four, three, six, three, pinch, four and one, pinch six and one, four, three. Sorry. With 18, it's just pinch six and one. The, after the six and one, it's the third string and then the fourth. Confusing, let's start at measure 16 halfway through where it starts with the opens. We have bum, 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 bum. Weird rhythm, three and four and one. Just look at the tab. I don't know if me explaining it is helpful. And it's one of these things when I'm playing it, I don't do it exactly like that. I kind of just let my own rhythm go. He's just kind of filling up space before he starts the next part and starts singing. But that is it. That's all I'm gonna do for this video as I told you at the beginning because it's long. That's a lot to take in. This is a very difficult, advanced finger picking song. And if you've made it here, Shake my hand. Welcome to the club. I don't know what club it is, but it's the... I just played the intro of a killer, freaking awesome Doc Watson tune, and you're part of that club. Let's play through it a whole bunch of times, nice and slow now. From the top, nice and slow. Two, three... That's the idea coming out of those bends. We'll do it again. Let's go even slower. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three.